hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i will show you how to adjust the waist of your jean trouser pant trouser any bottom in general without you know using a sewing machine so i have this trouser snap i got them on amazon i'll add the link to the description so you can see it's about two pounds or so nothing pricey um it's really easy to install so what i did i just placed it where i wanted mine to be you can decide to put it behind or by the side you decide wherever you want it to be so i'm just going to place it there because i want mine to be a little bit in front and it also has this adjustable pin that you use to secure um the hook behind trust me it's easy to pull out and it would not affect you it doesn't hurt on the inside when you wear your jeans so i'm going to add this to the top so as you can see it has two holes one at the top one at the bottom you have to secure both of them with the adjustable pin and that's what i'm going to do one thing about this is it's so easy to take out so if you make a mistake and put the hook uh, at the spot where you're not sure what you don't like you can easily just take it out and readjust that and put it wherever you want it to be I'm just going to do the same thing on the, the bottom hole as you can see easy you just push it in make sure it's secure make sure it goes through to the other end of your jeans or your pant trouser so it stays securely and then you use the pin to hold it behind like you can see how um, I've done it here sorted out what I did was I took a measurement of where I want the second hook to be I'm just going to take the measurement of where I want the second hook to be I did that just so I have a precise measurement and I can use on the other side of the jeans so everything looks more uniform and clean and it doesn't look tacky um, so one end is like the hook and while the other end is the part where you attach the first hook to <laughs> uh, in lack of better words to explain it so I'm just going to say it that way uh, I did the same thing which is I added the pin as you can see I secured it with the adjustable pin and uh, I'm just going to do the same for the hole at the top add the pin and then just secure it behind so it stays properly like it should Rest. One thing is you want to make sure that your hook is straight you don't want it a bit slanted or curved to the side because when you wear your jeans it will look a bit funny so if you have a measuring tape you can do that if you don't you can use like a pen or something to just mark it out so it looks straight and it looks nice because the whole point of this is adjusting the trouser waist while also looking stylish so this looks like a jean accessory on its own so you want to place it in a way that it looks really neat um, I just took a measurement again just to be sure of where I added the first hook and I'm just going to replicate that on the other side of my jeans I'm a woman after God's heart In his love I'll find my star This hack has really helped me because I always have issues getting my perfect pants or trouser skirt size 
generally it's usually too big for me if it fits my hips it's going to be too big around the waist and since i discovered this it's just been like the perfect hack for me because i can use it on skirt on pant trouser and when i don't want it if i want to alter it with like a proper sewing machine i just easily take out the hook and you know that's it i'm done it doesn't leave any crazy scar i've also used this on my pant trousers and it doesn't leave any um crazy um mark or lines because of the hook it disappears once you iron it out so now i'm done with both ends as you can see this is what it looks like um you just hook it in and that's it basically i'm just going to put this on so you guys can see before and after so this was before i used the snap as you can see the waist is quite loose it fits perfectly on my hips but the waist space is just ridiculously crazy and this is the problem i have with all my pants all my buttons generally if i don't alter it i have to use the snap unless it doesn't work so what i'm just going to do is just hook them together as you can see do the same thing on the other side and then that's it you can see the immediate difference the jeans looks a bit more fitted to my waist way more fitted to my waist you can also adjust the snag to whatever length you want if you want to be tighter than this i just didn't want it to pack a lot in front and the beauty about this is you can still use a belt over it and it will not be noticeable so if after using this you still feel like you need that extra snatch effect or you want to add a belt it works perfectly because you can put your belt over it it doesn't hurt like i said before and yeah you have your perfect fitted jeans without spending a lot of money or without doing a lot watch out So this is the second method this one is quite easy you don't need a lot you don't need a sewing machine to adjust this and this works well for pant trousers mostly you can use it for skirt but it depends on how it's been sewn so generally pant trousers and jeans usually come with two layers when i say two layers there's like a layer of fabric behind and there's another layer of fabric in front like what you can see i'm doing so you can see there are two fabrics at the trouser band one in front one behind today we're just going to focus on the fabric behind because we don't want anything to show in front we're going to use a scissors for this and create a little hole as you can see don't make something too big because you don't want it to be so big and tacky and then you can't adjust it so start with a small hole as you can see it doesn't show in front because i only cut the fabric from the back that's very important you want to replicate that same hole on the other side of your jeans please 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 remember to pick just the back fabric you don't want to cut all the way through to the fabric in front because it's going to defeat the whole purpose and spoil the style so open a small hole on both ends you can measure that to be precise to what you want you can decide to use it on the side as well what we'll be using today is uh, an elastic band two buttons we're also going to use a thread and needle we're going the old-fashioned <laughs> way of stitching today so i'm just going to open up the hole a little bit wider because i needed to have enough room to pass through when i need to attach um, my elastic band i'm also going to use an adjustable pin most people call it a safety pin you can use a fancy pin any pin at all you have in your house basically it's just to hold the elastic band so i can easily move it around the waist of the jean without it being a struggle or you know without it just dragging around for a long time so i'm just going to fold it like you can see and then pass it through the hole i created earlier and just pull it through to the other end basically that's it you can also see that the trouser has its tag in the middle and it's stitched in so i would not be able to move the pin because that part is stitched and you know kind of closed what I'll do is I'll use my scissors, cut that out. You can use a razor 
you can pull it out if you're that strong and uh, yeah just rip both part of the tag out and I'm going to use my hand needle to just take out the stitches on the side preferably it's better to use a seam ripper for this but I couldn't find mine so yeah I just used my needle you can just use anything sharp with a thin edge and yeah it'll do the work for you Grace upon me, standing tall Through every rise and every fall My father, I have it all Heart of a lion Nothing to fear With his love, he is me So now that I'm done with that, I can easily move my pin to the other end um, I'm just going to take out the other part of the tag as well so I can easily move it to the other hole I've created on the other end If your pant trouser doesn't have this or your jeans doesn't have this then that makes the whole work easier for you because you can just easily move your pin with elastic to the other end without any um <laughs> i don't want to call it distraction but yeah without any blockage basically so now i've taken it to the other end as you can see i have my elastic band on each side what i'll do now is i'm going to attach my button on both sides just so that i can secure it in you can also decide to just sew the elastic band on your jeans or your pant trouser but i prefer this method because it allows me to adjust the elastic band in whatever way i want but yeah ultimately just pick whichever one works for you i'm just going to sew this in and don't forget to stitch just the first layer of the fabric you don't want to train in front of your jean that's on the other side now i have both buttons attached I'm just going to secure this end with a safety pin because I'm about to pull on the other end of the elastic band and I don't want this one to go into the hole and then I have to struggle to take it out so I'm just going to secure this in just so when I pull the other end it doesn't go back in I hope you understand that so now I'm just going to adjust the elastic band to whatever length I want and create a hole that I can um, basically put my button through so you can choose to go really deep if you want it really tight I didn't want that super elastic feel at the back of the jean because I wanted it to still look well relaxed so I'm not going to overstretch the elastic but you can decide whichever one you want and you can also adjust your button to whatever length you want it depends on how tight and how fitted you want it to be I don't want mine to be too obvious because I don't want that packing like bulk effect at the back of my jeans so yeah i've opened the hole and as you can see i just attached um or i just secured in the bottom i'm going to do the same thing on this other side as well don't forget to open a tiny hole it's better you start out small and adjust it to whatever length you want uh, it's easier because if you make a big hole then you're left with a super wide hole that your bottom would be too small to hold so now we have it you can see from side to side Father's love, it guides my way. In his light, I dance and sway. So now you can see that it has that stretchy feel, but it's not a lot. I'm just going to show you the before and after. This was the jean before. I did anything to it you can see how loose it's well fitted on my hips but yeah again the waist is always the issue I always always struggle with this but now that I have this hack it's way easier for me as you can see this is the after it's well fitted and it doesn't look bulky the elastic feel is not just crazy at the back because I didn't want that so I hope you enjoyed this video um, don't forget to like and share and also comment what other hacks you will want me to do next. Bye!